Hello agents, hello everyone. So I got a request to kind of do this video. Um, there's a lot of marketing going around. I've been inundated with the same exact marketing piece being regurgitated around with all the wholesalers. Um, so, well, at least all the selected friendly wholesalers of the company. Anyway, let's get into this. Another FIA that I don't know any client asks for. It's a hybrid MIGA FIA. Really, it's not. It just has a high minimum guarantee. Um, so let's just jump into this. Uh, another hybrid uh, FIA annuity versus a traditional MIGA. And I actually have other other ideas in regards to that as well. So anyway, let's just jump right into this. I've had a few agents um, talk to me regarding this um uh, annuity. So let's go ahead and break into this. Uh, it's basically an annual reset I'm going to look at versus a five-year point-to-point as well. When we get into this for agents, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, yeah. So let's look at this versus, come on. Okay. So um, if you've received the marketing piece going around, I've kind of just put it in the marketed example based on today's S&P. The one that's going around is based on some ancient S&P numbers. So I just thought we'd be, make it a little more um, realistic to see the real numbers that should be um, looking at. So today when I started this, the S&P was at uh, 5192. Um, and in the example, uh, that would grow just like that kind of, uh, you know, design there that kind of follow that graph there uh, to 8049. So 8049 uh, minus 5192 is a 2857 gain. 2857 is 55.03% of the initial 5192. So if you bought this thing today, a product that worked like this today, that says, hey, um, you get a certain amount of the S&P. In this case, it's 75% of the S&P. So in this case, the S&P was up 55%. You'd get 75% of 55, which is 41.27. So on 100,000, 41.27 grows to 140, 141.270. Whereas the minimum says, hey, this thing says you get 100% at 4%. That's what these blue lines are. Let me back up. Blue lines are 100% at 4. So you see 100, 104, 108, 160. It's compounding. So at 121, uh, 665, that's your floor in this uh, hybrid. Um, and if it did what their example, their marketed example, I'm going to call it a market example because it's been marketed to me by multiple people, the same exact regurgitated thing. So this is how it worked out. This is how uh, this is how they uh, did the graph and everything. So that's what it would be. 141, 270 instead of 121. So you make an extra 20 grand if the S&P is up 55% in that five years. So that that's how that worked out. Um, based on their example, though, this is their numbers were like a two to three thousand, but this is the real S and P's is really a five thousand. So you got to end up at eight thousand. So if you think there's a chance of S and P in five years being at eight thousand, you know, um, this is an option, I guess. I don't know. Maybe go straight in the S and P if you think it's going to do that well. So, so how does this compare to say a MIGA of today? So today, well, actually on Friday, we'll have a five point six MIGA from a good A minus rated carrier. So ratings matter. We'll get into that later too. Um, so how does that work out? So 5.6 is 131.317 after five years. That's a compounded return, right? And that would equal 31.32% uh, of 100,000, right? So to get 31.32 when you're only getting 75%, that equals, you'd need 41.76. So the S&P will have to be up 41.76% exactly after five years to match a current MIGA at 5.6%. That's the number. So how does it work out? 51, uh, that's a 7360 uh, end yield. And then you'd pick up that extra gain, which is about 10,000. Actually, it's a, uh, do I do another page here? Do, it's on this page. So yeah, you would need, so the current MIGA at 5.6 equals 131.317. Uh, 100,000 at the floor, 4% with that hybrid product equals 121. So your guaranteed values in the MIGA are $9,652 more per hundred grand, uh, more than the hybrid product, right? So now let's say you wanted to beat the MIGA by the same spread, the guarantee MIGA beats this guarantee 4%, right? So you want to be 95.62 above that 131 here, that 131 number. So you would need a 7.11% return on the S and you know, annualized return to equal the, to, to have the matching benefit, if you will, right? Cause you're giving up that guarantee for the potential. So that's what you'd need a 7.11% basically to apples and apples, you know, risk reward type thing. 
Now, the other thing this illustration to get into, and I can't get brochures or anything. Again, it's it's limited distribution because they don't want people like me maybe looking at the details. I don't know why the limited distribution or why you'd want to send out the same marketing piece from every wholesaler instead of have someone do something creative. But that's that's the annuity. Uh, that's a home office people's decision. So anyway, you look at this, the death benefit on this product is going to be the uh, death benefit is going to be the accumulation value. I don't know what the death benefit is on that hybrid. It didn't really break it down. Is it the 4% or do they say, Hey, if when you die, you get that S and P, whatever it is. I don't think so. That'd be very generous. Although no one really selects against an insurance company, um, by dying. So maybe it does. That would be a very good benefit in that product. If it gave you the death benefit of whatever the S and P is that time, but it's probably just the 4%. So your death benefit's going to be based on the 4%. Also, it doesn't go into what happens if you do withdrawals and all that good stuff too. Whereas, you know, the MICA still earns 5.6 on the withdrawals. Um, it doesn't go into all that. So that's kind of a few questions I'd have. I'd love to see the brochure if anyone wants to reach out and send it to me or a specimen contract, even better. Um, cool. But listen, if you want a hybrid, you know, you can build your own hybrid. Right now, that company I saw marketing is like a newer company I've never really heard of. It's brand new. It's B++ rated. Whereas now here's an A++ rated company that says, hey, we'll do point to point lock in of the S&P and give you a 9.5% cap guaranteed. It won't change for all five years. And this is how that would have worked out over, you know, 10 year periods. And again, that is a problem I have with people who design these software. Why is a five-year MIGA giving me 10-year best returns? Should be five-year best returns. It should be a way to dial it in. Five, seven, eight, whatever the MIGA is, whatever the FIA term is, you should be able to look back at the historical. But looking back at 10-year historicals at a 9.5% cap, you see uh, the best 10 years would be a 7.53. The worst 10 years would be a 5.96. And the last 10 years would be a 6.56. So... Kind of, you can build your own hybrid. All these are better than a 5.6 MIGA, right? But that's a 10-year yield. So you'd have to break through, find your, you know, if you took the worst five years here and the best five years, I don't know. That's, you know, that's when you get into gambling. So one thing I do know, the death benefit is always the accumulation value. So that would be your accumulation value on the death benefit. So here we look back at the original point-to-point -point product. And I'm going to compare if you're looking at the same exact S&P, only one locks in and one is this point to point to term, point to point to term, five year point to point, not annual point to point annual lock in. If you had an annual point to point annual lock in, it would have locked in the gain in year one, in year two, and in year three. And this this values down here would be those values. And in year four, you'd lock in this high point right here. Wow. That's over 180,000 based on the same graph, right? It's not hundred percent accurate. Um, but you see what I'm saying? You'd lock in that super high point right there. Um, and you'd avoid this huge explosion where that last year was down. So this is the marketed illustration sample going around that shows an annual five-year point to point. I'm sorry, a five-year point to point that just implodes. Look at the loss that that product took in the last year. This is why I like annual reset, annual lock-in. I thought the camera was over there for a second. Better than the uh, full point to point because you don't give back the down years, all the ups, none of the downs. So you would have locked in right here, earned zero that last year, but you would have wound up higher than that hybrid, right? Because you don't lose that last year. Annual point to points are better, in my opinion, because they lock in those gains and reset the SP. Whereas a full on five year point to point, hell, the SP could go all the way from 5,000 to 10,000 and then revert back to 5,000. You wind up with nothing, missed all the gains in between. And your reset and your lock in always been the best for me historically. So, anyway, that's how it works. And that's why I don't love full point to points because you have these explosion years over here. We want to avoid explosion years. So. Yeah. So, and again, I always say lock in the best rate when you can. Don't try and time everything. Um, you know, if we're getting close to the end of the month and you think rates are going up, that's great. But if you can lock in a 5.6 or, you know, someday if you lock in a 7%, you know, lock it in for as long as you can. So anyway, lock in the best rate you can. Call me for contracting or anything. Here's some important information. Uh, rates are subject to change at any time. Of course, this information is for educational, informational purposes. I don't have the actual contract from that other hybrid annuity. So I'm just going off the marketing that's floating around. And since you send it to me, I'm going to talk about it. And this is what you sent. And I did back modeling. And that's how I came to the point to point. And, and the math worked out. So anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah, that's the end of my presentation. And again, 
buy the best product. If you want a hybrid product, um, you might be getting OK MIGA and OK FIA. Where you could go out there, I don't know what the full point-to-point -point other products are out, out there, but build your own. Buy the best of the two. So I don't know who was asking for this. Something tells me another IMO wanted to make this, take their dime or quarter point off the top. It's a money revenue for them. No one, no clients really asked for this. Uh, in the past, there used to be FIAs with 100% participation and a cap and a 3% minimum. Why the companies are not bringing back higher guaranteed minimums? I think it's just a profit thing for them. So anyway, thanks for watching. More information, follow me on LinkedIn and YouTube for the most up-to-date information. Uh, remember, no fees, just insurance guarantees here. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.